What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one only Neo stock and what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to do some in depth technical analysis and give you guys my price prediction for tomorrow and the near term for Neo because I do believe that Neo is doing very well right now. Morgan Stanley does believe Neo is going to hit $34 relatively soon. Neo put some incredible things on their Twitter page, which makes me very bullish. And I do think Neo will hit the 20s very soon. But before we go to the 20s, I think there might be a slight pullback that's going to bring Neo down just a little bit before this thing bounces, then explodes to the absolute moon. Now, before I talk about why I think that, before I talk about why on earth I think Neo is going to dip a little bit before it explodes, I do have to mention a couple of things real quick. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Neo community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed six free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. You could always sell these six free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some Neo shares for free in this limited time offer that ends in just nine days. So please check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So Looking at Neo, we're a little bit green in the after hours. We're up over 4.95% for the day. Let's go. And I do think that the market is actually going to play a role in kind of affecting Neo. So looking at the fear and greed index, it's showing that we're extremely fearful. I don't think so. I think we're more on the fearful side, not too bad. And I, <coughs> I think that the markets might actually kind of cool off a little bit before we see some very bullish price action. Now, obviously, today's Tuesday. The market is going to have a short week. But what's important about that is to look at these gaps, okay? This yellow line was a previous gap, 17.93. Uh, Neo ended up bouncing at 17.92, so we came very close to filling the gap. I don't think we actually did it just yet. And what this means essentially is that when looking at Neo, it is going to probably gap up soon, maybe tomorrow but then i do think we're going to see some bearish price action for just a few days before this thing bounces and explodes now why do i think that let's look at the overall market first now <clears throat> what you're going to notice is looking at the spy i believe the spy is going to be in the 420 soon but before we get there we have this gap down here the gap is going to take the spy a little bit below 406 so it is possible <coughs> sorry the spy drops for maybe like two days and it actually starts to fill these gaps before it starts to run. Because when you go back over the last few days, the SPY has been just rallying and rallying. And typically, we need a bit of a pullback, maybe somewhat of a cool off of the RSIs. We kind of <coughs> need that for the SPY to be kind of like healthy. And I, I essentially think that this is probably going to happen before the SPY begins to rip to the upside. Now, is it guaranteed? No, it's possible the spy just keeps pushing, but I just think that based off the fact that the we're kind of curling right here, if I actually bring up some indicators, you could kind of see it. MACD is curling, RSI is kind of slowing down just a little bit. It might just be a slight consolidation cool off before a nice balance and we continue from there. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, where's the NASDAQ? Uh, I have it, where is it? Right over here. So when we look at the NASDAQ, okay, very similar. We can see that the MACD is curling, getting closer to the signal line. RSI is kind of dropping a little bit. We're starting to kind of curl here. So it's kind of looking like we might kind of fill this gap right here on the NASDAQ, which may bring us down to that 11,750 range. It's not a big drop. I mean, it's going to drop a few percentage points, not too bad. A slight cool off before we start to rip up. And I think that these changes may actually impact NEO slightly. Because for NEO, why did we actually stay green when the market was red? The answer is this. Let me close these real quick. Some breaking news came out. Morgan Stanley says NEO stock is ready for a comeback. They believe NEO is going to go to $34 a share relatively soon. Here's where it says it right here. Morgan Stanley has a $34 price target and an overweight rating for NEO stock. In the next few months, they see this thing going to 34 bucks. They see a comeback coming. Very, very good news in my opinion, and that is making a lot of investors very confident. Now, when it comes to Neil, we're a little bit green in the after hours, but I would anticipate in terms of my price prediction is this. So before I get there though, if Neil breaks 18 or 17.93, it has a lot of room to start pushing to that 19 range, and that 19 might be the next key level of resistance. I don't think I actually 
uh, drew that out, but you can see 19 would be that key zone if this thing does end up pushing up, if I'm wrong about the pullback, and then it could be well on its way to the 20s. If that doesn't work, if we start dropping, Neo has support at 17 flat, at exactly 17. If 17 doesn't hold, 16.5 to around 16.5, that's going to be the support range, and we're also going to fill our gap there too. 16.12 is another key zone, then 15.5, 14.74, and finally 14.43. Now, I don't think Neo is going that low. I highly doubt that. I think what's going to happen to Neo over the next few days is this. I think tomorrow, Neo, actually, let me use the five minute candles. I think that would be a lot better. Hold on, give me one second. Uh, I think what's going to happen is this. Let me just adjust this so you could see it better. So you could see Neo likes to push up and wants to push up. In opening, I think Neo is going to push up and fill the gap at around 17.93. We're going to get a rejection, okay? And we're going to actually start descending slowly throughout the day with the overall market. But Neo is strong. It's going to try to hold these levels. And we might get a nice bounce, maybe a slightly green, maybe a somewhat sideways close. I don't think it's going to be too bad. It might be a little bit in the red towards those lower $17 ranges. But I would anticipate essentially a sideways day. I don't I don't necessarily think Neo is just going to rip another 10% in one day. It's possible, but based off technicals, it's not showing that. It does look like Neo is going to kind of slow down a little bit because when you look at RSI <coughs> over the two-hour time frame right here, you can see RSI is kind of in that overbought territory. Signal line does look like it wants to cool off a little bit. Perhaps we push up just a little bit more before we see some downside. And that is still what I'm seeing for the next couple of days. I would anticipate Neo slowly starts to drop and then it's going to fill that gap around 16.5. So Neo could go back to that low 16 range by the end of the week. Okay. And after that, by next week, I expect this thing to start ripping with the overall market. And this thing might actually make it back to the twenties pretty fast. That may sound crazy, but I do think that's going to come. I think Neo is set for some more relief. And I don't think that we're just going to start crashing from here. I think we have more room to see some bullish price action. So once again, just to recap, tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised if Neo touches maybe 17.93 to 18, gets rejected, then starts kind of bleeding throughout the day, closes kind of sideways. Then <clears throat> the next day, I would anticipate Neo starts dropping a little bit more up until like Friday. I, I would expect this thing to just start to cool off a little bit on its RSI. It could go down to the mid to low $16 level before getting a nice bounce for next week. And then it starts pushing up back to the 20s or even higher than that. Just my opinion. This is what the technicals are suggesting. And if I'm wrong, I will be wrong sometimes. I apologize for that. But I want to let you know something. I did another piece of analysis. I showed you support levels, resistance levels to be looking out for. Be prepared for anything. And I want to let you know. This is just a short-term prediction. The long-term is still very, very bright, especially considering this right here. Neo essentially stated that on their second episode of their hashtag Road to Germany series, this person known as Frank attended Neo Day in 2021, and he joined the community to talk about their expansion to Germany. That's absolutely fantastic news. It goes to show that this company is just growing and growing and growing. They're expanding their business and they keep on pushing forward no matter what on earth is in their way. So like I said before, there could be somewhat of a pullback for the next few days, a nice balance followed by some more bullish price action. I don't worry too much about the short term though. Long term is still incredibly bullish and nothing has changed whatsoever. With that out of the way, thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon and peace out.